In 2019, Call of Duty Modern Warfare redefined expectations for the long-running series, blending cinematic storytelling, gritty realism, and innovative gameplay to create an experience that captivated players worldwide. More than just the reboot of a beloved franchise, Modern Warfare embraced the complexities of modern-day warfare, pushing the boundaries of what a first-person shooter could achieve. By delving into morally ambiguous conflicts and offering immersive high-stake missions, the game not only revitalized the series, but also set a new standard for how interactive storytelling could confront the harsh realities of global combat. What the hell are we doing here? We're cleaning up a mess. With women and children. They were leveraged. They were hostages. When you take the gloves off, you get blood on your hands, Kyle. That's how it works. Where do we draw the line, sir? You draw the line wherever you need it, Sergeant. At the end of the day, someone has to make the enemy scared of the dark. We get dirty, and the world stays clean. That's the mission. As players navigated its intense adrenaline pumping campaign and multiplayer modes, Modern Warfare 2019 proved that the essence of warfare lies not just in its action, but in the blurred lines between right and wrong, a theme that resonated far beyond the battlefield. The Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 would receive high praise for several reasons. One of those would be realism and grit. The 2019 campaign brought a grittier and more grounded tone compared to earlier entries. It reflected real-world conflicts with morally ambiguous situations and brutal combat sequences. The story didn't shy away from showing the harsh realities of war blurring the line between right and wrong, which resonated with players that seeked a more mature narrative. I gave you a chance to save a life. Now let me show you how to take one. Don't she's out of my- Bridget, see what you made me do. Another was just the engaging storyline. The plot rebooted the iconic Modern Warfare universe, but it grounded it in a contemporary setting with new characters like Farah Kareem, a freedom fighter, alongside returning favorites like Captain Price, reimagined. The narrative tackled themes of terrorism, chemical warfare, and proxy wars, immersing players in a high-stake, emotionally charged storyline. The cinematic presentation was awesome. Infinity War put a lot of effort into the cinematic quality of the campaign. The pacing was tight and the missions were varied, ranging from stealth operations to large-scale assaults. The game's set pieces combined with the highly detailed graphics and animations helped deliver an intense and immersive experience. Captain Price, one of the most beloved characters from the original Modern Warfare trilogy, would return as the heart of the game. His leadership and his moral compass guided the player through this morally complex world. What's the word, boss? Stand by. Don't make this ugly, Captain. Give me a reason, Notch. It's a proxy war, John. We're all just pawns in this. Well, you speak for yourself. Hand him over. Yes, sir. The deal is yours. Intel's mine. Whatever you've got going on here, I can help. I'll call you if I need you. New characters like Farah and Alex were also praised for adding depth and emotional weight to the story, making the stakes feel personal. I also think the uniqueness of missions really helped the game stand out. Missions like Clean House, where players breach and clear a London townhouse, stood out for their realism and intensity. Players felt like they were a part of a real counter-terrorist operation. The variety of missions, from large-scale military battles to small, tense encounters, kept the gameplay fresh and engaging, and the things that went into creating the mission Clean House were incredible. However, we won't go too deep into that today, as I've got a full video dedicated for that already. But the moral complexity of the game was also very intriguing, because the game introduced more moral choices and great areas during combat. Players were often confronted with tough decisions, such as distinguishing between enemy combatants and civilians, reflecting the modern-day challenges soldiers face in asymmetric warfare. No! No, 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 please! Who's yeah. Careful with them, you son of a bitch! Work the gloves off. They're off. 
The game also featured a state-of-the-art graphics and design. The sound of gunfire, explosions, and ambient noises made the environments feel realistic, while the visual fidelity made the game one of the most immersive experiences in the franchise. All of these elements combined to make the Modern Warfare campaign fresh and yet familiar for Call of Duty fans, and it delivered a campaign that just resonated with the longtime fans and even some newcomers. Now, while Call of Duty 2019 was praised for its campaign, it did have some criticism. Most of this surrounded the multiplayer modes. One of the biggest complaints about the multiplayer maps during this game was that many players felt the map design encouraged camping. Rather than fast-paced gameplay, maps like Piccadilly were particularly divisive, with some players finding them too open and unbalanced. Skill-based matchmaking, which has always been an issue, was heavily criticized by more experienced players. It matched players with similar skill levels in public matches, and many felt that it was just too competitive and making casual play just too stressful. Many players wanted a more relaxed matchmaking where they could have a mix of skill levels, but to be quite honest with you, that's something that has continued over the last few years, and it doesn't look to change with Black Ops 6. So that is still a constant complaint. Another complaint that Modern Warfare 2019 had specifically related to multiplayer was the issue with visibility. The maps were highly detailed and beautiful, but that often made it difficult to spot enemies due to environmental clutter or excessive smoke in particular. This led to frustration when players couldn't tell the enemies apart or couldn't see the enemies in the background. In multiplayer, the spawning system was often criticized for being inconsistent. Players would frequently spawn in locations where they were vulnerable to immediate attacks or ambushes. This led to spawn killing, where players were repeatedly killed right after spawning, which made for quite a frustrating experience. Some players complained that the time to kill in the game felt inconsistent most of the time. While fast time to kill is a Call of Duty staple, some believe that it was too fast in Modern Warfare, so it made gunfights feel unfair. Others argue that the game's realism compromised balance and fun, so there wasn't a good balance and it was way too inconsistent. Now, a major problem that began in 2019 that I remember perfectly was the footstep audio, as it was a major point of contention in multiplayer. Many players felt that the footsteps were way too loud, making it way easier for opponents to hear you from across the map. This led to slower, more cautious gameplay as players were afraid of being heard while moving. But really, no matter what you did, you couldn't really combat it. It was just very, very difficult and you always heard when someone was coming. The decision to remove the traditional mini-map where gunfire would appear as red dots sparked backlash from longtime fans. While Infinity War eventually reintroduced a modified version of the mini-map, many players still felt that the initial change negatively impacted the flow of the game, and that usually happens when you take something away that is a tradition, or it has happened for many years. And another problem that many felt began in 2019 with Modern Warfare was the notoriously massive file sizes, especially with the releases of patches, additional content, updates that sometimes exceeded 50 gigabytes. This became a frustration for many players with limited storage or slower internet connections, and I can attest to that as it affected me on a personal level. Finally, some fans would also have issues with Spec Ops, the cooperative mode introduced in Modern Warfare 2019. As this didn't live up to expectations, it was considered to be overly difficult and lacked proper balance. Players also felt that it was underdeveloped compared to the more polished campaign and multiplayer modes. These issues, while important, didn't necessarily outweigh the game's positive, but for many players, they were sticking points for a significant part of the community. And to this day, you can see some fans call the game overrated because of its multiplayer being so bad. Now, if you would have given us a campaign like Modern Warfare 2019 and then given us a multiplayer like Modern Warfare 3 released in 2023, then you would have had one of the greatest games ever, but that wasn't the case back then. And now returning to some other positives that Modern Warfare 2019 had was cross-platform play. Modern Warfare was the first Call of Duty title to fully embrace this, and it allowed players on PlayStation, Xbox, 
and PC to play together. This was a game changer for the series and created a more unified player base, removing the traditional boundaries between platforms. So now you could play with a friend that only had an Xbox and maybe you only had a PlayStation. And it has carried over for the next five years, right? So in the time since Modern Warfare 2019 released, now cross-platform play is almost a requirement. It's no longer a unique thing. Most games now that are multiplayer or that are only online games usually have cross-platform and it began somewhere around that time. So Call of Duty Modern Warfare could be credited with being one of the first to begin that big trend. Although the multiplayer wasn't beloved, the gameplay and weapon customization was actually really cool and realistic in Modern Warfare 2019. The game brought in an unprecedented level of gunplay realism. Each weapon felt distinct with significant weight, recoil, and power, making firefights more engaging. The gunsmith system allowed players to customize their weapon in detail, offering countless combinations of attachments, which let players fine tune their guns for different playstyles and situations. And to be honest with you, if you're not a gun lover, you probably be became a gun lover with how beautiful the gun customization was in Modern Warfare 2019. Now, the game took risks, right? Modern Warfare 2019 did take risks, and whether they're good or they're bad, at least risks were taken, which isn't something that we can say for MW3. But Modern Warfare experimented with map designs by including larger, more open maps for modes like Ground War, which supported 64 player battles. This contrasted with the series' traditionally small, tightly designed maps. While some of the traditional maps were controversial for encouraging camping, the variety of map sizes and gunplay approach made it stand out and again made it unique because it took risks. So if they can innovate and do something like that, again, that would be really good. Although this particular one in Ground War didn't work out, maybe in the future something else will. And Modern Warfare 2019 eventually became a game changer for what we have now in gaming. Because Warzone, although it wasn't technically part of the initial release, it was built on the same engine and integrated into Modern Warfare's multiplayer ecosystem. Warzone's free-to-play model and the way it connected progression across modes was groundbreaking, and it became a central part of the Call of Duty experience. The seamless transitions between traditional multiplayer and the Battle Royale mode helped Modern Warfare stay relevant well beyond its initial release. And to be quite honest with you, it also created the Warzone era that we now have in Call of Duty. Whether for good or for bad, we have it and it is alive and thriving. Something that Blackout didn't really do. But Warzone is still going strong and it doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Honestly, in the ever-evolving world of first-person shooters, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 stands out as a milestone in gaming. Its blend of cutting-edge realism, emotionally charged storytelling, and strategic gameplay redefined what fans could expect from the franchise. By confronting players with the moral complexities of modern warfare and delivering an immersive experience across both its campaign and maybe multiplayer modes, Modern Warfare didn't just pay homage to the series' roots. It set a bold new course for the future of the genre. Its influence continues to resonate in both gameplay design and narrative depth proving that even in the chaos of war, innovation and introspection can go hand in hand. However, Modern Warfare would slowly be on a decline since 2019. It's sad to see that instead of growing and improving each year, it seems as if Call of Duty slowly went down. And if you compare Modern Warfare 3 in its campaign to Modern Warfare 2019 in its campaign, you would laugh at seeing the vast distinction and how awful MW3 would be compared to what many believed was a new era for Call of Duty.